Hey, Biotheme. Uh, so you guys have learned that nucleic acids are the codes for building proteins. And so there's two main types of nucleic acid. There is uh, DNA, uh, whose code is written with the nucleotides uh, guanine, cytosine, adenine, and thymine. Uh, and then there is RNA, whose code is written with the same nucleotides, except instead of thymine, uh, RNA has the nucleotide uracil. So in this example to the right, we could see that this uh, strand of nucleic acid at the bottom is DNA because it has thymine, and we could see that this strand of nucleic acid at the top is RNA because it has uh, uracil bases. And so the general process for building uh, proteins uh, starts with DNA. And the DNA is in the nucleus uh, where enzymes will transcribe it into RNA. Uh, which then travels out to the ribosomes in the cell cytoplasm, uh, where it is then translated uh, into proteins. So the proteins that our body ends up building are very sensitive to the nucleic acid code. Uh, for example, we've got a nucleic acid strand of messenger RNA here. And so every three nucleotides in this RNA strand will code for a single amino acid we call each group of three nucleotides a codon. And so this first codon, uh, if we looked at a codon chart, we could see codes for uh, methionine. Whereas this next codon uh, would code for histidine. And what we mean when we say that uh, the amino acid chain, that the proteins that our bodies build are sensitive uh, to the sequence of nucleotides, uh, is that if we were to uh, change just a single nucleotide, uh, for instance, maybe we were to uh, substitute this single uracil by breaking apart these bonds in the rest of the nucleic acid, and we were to swap it out with a cytosine, so just a single nucleotide substitution, uh, this codon now would no longer attract a methionine into the protein. Instead, it would attract a threonine. Uh, which is a polar amino acid instead of a nonpolar amino acid. So we'll show you the before and after here. This was our strand before the mutation occurred, and this is our strand after the substitution occurred. And the main takeaway is that uh, a single change to a single nucleotide has the potential uh, to change how uh, an entire protein folds or, or is shaped. And that's it. At this point, you guys have some practice problems. Uh, best of luck.